I wonder how that's gonna film. Anyway, so today I'm gonna try to replace my uh, Porsche roof. Bought a new top, which I have right here. $500 Canadian, 329 US, no shipping. I'm gonna attempt to change out my top. The reason I need to do it is Should put that one on. Already heard somebody. Step one completed. Step two, find my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. Filming away. The old roof off. And a little harder than I thought. There's a new roof waiting to go on. Old one's off, check, new one, I got the two sides on, um, next I've got to connect in this part, which is this here, yo Tatiana, oh okay, are you ready, huh, are you ready to, oh, so I'm ready to put in this side, boom and boom, what are you up to, well, um, let's see which way does it go. Okay, it goes this way. Boom. Um, boom, kaboom. You know, from the driver's side. And, um, slides around. I could have it backwards, I don't know. But I'll figure out when I, when I put it in. But anyway, the point is, here's the, um, here's the easy, uh, snap things they warn you about. I managed to get... All of them out, this one was already chipped because somebody at one point had changed the roof. Right? Um, the other side I got in fine, this side I snapped, getting it out. Mm -hmm. And instead of waiting and ordering a piece, I've discovered that I can just do this. Cheat. So I drilled a hole through it, put it on, I'm going to glue this because it fits on the... Uh, point it's a clean snap. I'm gonna glue that and I've already checked the clearance opening and closing the hood and it seems unaffected by this extra length. Uh, which way does it go? Yeah see so it can do its thing. Whatever way it goes. I think it's could be this way. Okay, I'm gonna go ship. Yeah, it's this way. Okay, anyway, so yeah. Yeah. And the cover's here, and the cover's here. The bottom of the cover here, and the corner part here. So, and that's on this side. Don't don't worry, hun. I can um, cut it. It goes in this screw and this screw, mm -hmm. and I'll be up and down in this to get mm -hmm. it access. Mm -hmm. And this part goes on here. Actually, folds around. This bottom part goes in here, mm -hmm. folds around, and you can glue this under like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I didn't bother gluing the other side. <laughs> and then when your roof goes, this can move slightly. And that's okay. it. I'm off. And that's it. We're done. Okay, see ya. Wait a second. Where off. are you going? I'm going to go ship. Oh. And then we got to go up to McDougal and get some goods. Okay. Let's do it. Are you coming with me? No. I'm going by myself. Okay. All right. Well, you're coming back for me to go to yes, McDougal. I'm okay. I'm taking the van because the, gonna... the boxes are too big for the zippy. And then we'll, we'll go up to McDougal and zippy. You keep working. Okay. Until I come back. What do I do with Check. My... 
Okay. See you later. You taking the zipster? Oh no, you taking the van. Yeah. Zippy, it's big red, little red, and sporty red in the that I'm putting the new roof on. And I don't even really care for red that much. Strangely enough, it's just all the vehicles seem to come in red. There she goes. So this little screw, I got it in. It doesn't have to be a tight screw, but I will put a, uh, what do they call it, lock, lock ball? I'll just put glue. Pelican parts and my instructions are very vague on taking those uh, plastic sliders out. And they, f they didn't tell you that this, I couldn't figure out how to get the slider out after I removed the two uh, rivets here and the, and the screw that holds the cable for the roof. It should have come off. They say, oh, it just slides off. Well, it turns out in the back here, you have to raise your roof almost uh, closed and then push this up and you'll see, um, see right there? There's a screw that goes in there. It's a little torque screw. The roof. Well, uh, what have I got so far? I've got the sides on. I, I did the clips that, that worked out good. Remember I had to put a screw in there? Um, I just put in the two tracks. It's a three track. The first one you can't see it's underneath. Um, you lock it in with a locking strip and then you put on this seal here over it and then this will go down. There'll be sticky tape here all along this bottom roll and then I stick that on with a sticky tape, tuck that in, put on the final seal trouble is I ran out of sticky tape so I bought some on eBay or Amazon I can't remember and I'm waiting for it my tape has finally arrived it's 3M uh, the recommended tape that Pelican Parts recommends so I bought three rolls of it just in case I'm actually planning a trip to Vancouver and I'm gonna take the porch but I couldn't take it until I got the roof done because they're apparently getting, getting a lot more rain anyway so here's the two basic tools you'll need Nah, no, just kidding. <laughs> the 3M sticky tape is now installed. Now I'm going to latch over, tuck that in. I don't know yet. We'll see. Another shot of how you can see it's going in and then the rubber goes on top so I'm working on getting the rubber back in it went in okay here nice um, strong fit exciting new news we have cured cancer no nope, that's not that's wrong tape I'm working on putting the rubber back on I've got the two sides boom and boom boom and boom sides up um, I've got this in gonna put some sticky double-sided tape on that and then the bar across and hopefully it will all be done so I'll get back to you in a minute hey we are taping last thing to do put in the um, clips that hook onto the to the locking and then we're done I've got I've got this um, sealed up every part that I took apart um, of course I cleaned it What a bugger that was. That seal, putting that seal in was the hardest thing. Um, front is all done. Rubber seal's back on, just pops in. Here, that's all sealed up again and secured with a bracket. And uh, now I'm going to completely close the roof and see how it is. Pretty nice. 
I ended up taking the whole back off, the whole front off, this side off to try to stretch it down because this popped up if I got that to lock. And if this came down, this was slightly um, too much and it would, would not stretch. Before I decided to do it myself, I did phone around shops around here. The only place in town, because we're not at such a huge town, and um, the only place in town that said they would do it um, was an upholstery store, and they said it would start at $800. And that's not replacing this, that's just unsewing the window and sewing one in. $800. I would have done the $800, but they said it would start at $800. And I've been to mechanics and stuff before, and when they give you a quote like that, you know it's not going to be $800. Anyway, done, all done.